For our first foodie cake, we're making a spaghetti and meatball cake. I start off by stacking my cake layers followed by buttercream and I coat the entire cake with white chocolate ganache. After that sets, I add my fondant and I turn it right side up. I add a straw in the middle of the cake and that's where the fork will be hanging from. And now the fun part where I make the noodles with my favorite tool. Now for my marinara sauce, I mix buttercream with raspberry jam. And for my meatballs, I make cake pop balls that I also add to the sauce. And there you have it, my realistic spaghetti and meatball cake. For our next foodie cake, we are making a hot cocoa mug cake. I start off by stacking my chocolate cake followed by my chocolate ganache and marshmallows. I'm going to be coating the entire cake with more ganache and letting it set before adding my fondant. After this step, I'm going to turn my mug right side up and add the handle of the mug that I've also made with fondant. Now to make it even more realistic, I'm going to add drips of ganache and top it off with my whipped cream. And of course, we can't forget the marshmallows at the very end. And there you have it. That is my hot cocoa mug cake. For our following foodie cake, we're making a taco cake. I start off by cutting a 10 inch cake in half and stacking it on top of each other. After I crumb coat the cake, I add the fondant which I kneaded with Oreo to give a realistic taco shell look. For the meat, I use Reese's Puff cereal that I mix with ganache. I use dyed coconut for the lettuce, strawberries for the tomatoes, and fondant for the cheese. And of course, we can't forget the sour cream, so I put a dollop of buttercream with some olives, and here's the finished look. For our final foodie cake, we're making a cherry pie cake. We start off by adding our chocolate cake in a pie tin, followed by our buttercream and our cherry filling. We add more of our gooey cherry filling, and then we decorate. In order to give the look of the pie crust, I cut strips of fondant and place it right on top of the cherry filling. In order to give an even more realistic look, I paint the pie crust with some edible paint and that's our final look. I hope you guys enjoy.